Hey guys, welcome. So uh, this posture, which I like to call hummingbird pose, some call it grasshopper. I've even heard it called dragonfly pose. It's a funky, really fun posture. It's gonna take some loosening up and warming up your body. It's, it's a really fun pose. The Sanskrit is Parabrita Galavasana. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to get into it, but, but, but. now this really good idea to get a nice warm up first, at least a few sun salutations, sun sal A, sun sal B, and get some nice deep twists in, because this is actually, believe it or not, a super deep twist, as well as hip opener. So the way I would start this typically is just start kind of squatting down a little bit and take one ankle, let's start right ankle on top of your left thigh, just over your knee, flexing that foot. So you're basically getting kind of a standing pigeon effect here. You really want to open this knee away from your chest. So you're going to feel a stretch in your outer hip. This might be a good place to start for some people getting a balance and a stretch. Beautiful. You can also begin to kind of wave yourself out here, waving forward to get a little deeper into that stretch. So you kind of begin to come more to the pigeon aspect. Eventually you're going to feel a nice deep stretch in your outer right hip. Breathe into that stretch. Stay here if you want, maybe palms together. You're ready to start going deeper if you feel nice and warmed up. We want to start to bring our right elbow outside of left thigh, right in front of your, in the middle of your right foot. So it's almost like you're trying to deepen the upper part of your right arm around the uh, bottom of your right foot as far as you can. Keep squeezing it down there and feel that deep twisting as you do. So keep going around, getting uh, that foot as high as you can in your upper arm. Maybe you just stay here, palms together at your heart, and again, find your breath, find your balance. If you're ready to go deeper, again, We'll take our fingers to the floor, about shoulder distance apart. You might bring them at an angle, but fingers facing the same direction. Begin to spread down to inner knuckles and let your butt sit down towards the floor a little bit. Keep now the whole time. Now here's the secret. You want this middle of your right foot actively placed on your upper right arm. Almost like you're standing on your upper right arm the whole time, right? Cool. So I got my hips lifted so I can begin to now shift weight over my wrists. I'm stepping the weight of my right foot actively down into my upper right arm as I bend my elbows to create a shelf for that foot. Eventually the weight begins to shift into your arms and your left foot will float off the floor. From there, simply a matter of extending left leg out to the side for a few breaths. You could also bend your both elbows a little deeper into the pose. Boop, like that. <laughs> so definitely want to try that on both sides. Same thing here. Real quick, left side, left ankle, right thigh. Flex your left foot. Try to get your ankle not above the ankle on your thigh. So the foot itself is almost flush with your outer right thigh. Good. Palms to heart, kind of waving out here, getting a nice stretch to play. Breathing deep, just kind of waving forward a little bit. Really get towards that hip stretch, keeping your knee wide. Then begin to twist so that your left elbow, maybe start there, maybe start to push down a little deeper for your upper arm. Eventually, you want to get as much of the upper arm as you can outside right underneath your left foot. Then fingers come out to the side, I bend my right knee a little bit so that I can get my hands firmly on the floor. Hands are nice and flat, but continue to keep your body weight over your wrists. Then still standing actively, pressing strongly with left foot into upper left thigh, weight begins to shift over my wrists until I feel a balancing point where my right foot can float out to the side for a few breaths. Beautiful. So start to play with it and remember, take your time. Don't give up. Go up to your edge and play there. Breathe into it. Playing with your edge is the secret and the way that you will begin to accomplish this in every pose. So enjoy. Namaste.